Hello, I'm Data, and today I have for you a synchronized video release with Samus the Sage talking about double speed mixed box loaders. In my last video, I talked about item type variants and how cyclical variable sorting excels with higher variances. However, cyclical variable sorting cannot accept loose items. The items have to be loaded into a shulker box. So the question arises, how can we quickly get a high variance item stream into high variance loaded shulker boxes? Well, the easiest way is to use a mixed shulker box loader. So I did some research and found this really small mixed shulker box loader by Samus the Sage. But this box loader is limited to 9,000 items per hour, which is single hopper speed because, as you can see, it only has a single hopper feeding into the shulker box. So I wanted to try and make a double speed mixed shulker box loader that would be able to handle 18,000 items per hour per slice. And for demonstration purposes, I'm going to be using this chest here that is just filled with some non-stackable items. Okay, so this was the first design that I came up with. Here we just double the amount of hoppers that are feeding into the shulker box, and instead of breaking the box from the top, we break it from the bottom. And I can just show you it working here. So if I look inside the box, we're filling up items two at a time. And once we get to the end, after a little bit, we'll break the box. Okay, and we'll dispense a new box. And now this box here is going to be filled up. And... As you can see, we didn't lose any items, so we put in a double chest of items and we got two shulker boxes full. However, there are a couple flaws with this design, and the big one that I found was, one, the box breaking from the bottom is a little bit inconsistent, because it can happen that you break the box and then the new box will actually land on top of the old, uh, the old box is going to land on top of the new box that's dispensed, so you might end up losing some boxes occasionally. And the main issue that I wasn't really happy with was how we actually end up breaking the boxes. So the way we break the boxes is we wait for all the slots in this hopper to be filled up, and then we detect if an item goes into this barrel. So what that means is that we have a really long lag time between uh, the box being full and us breaking the box. And that could be up to 30 items, it could be 30 items to fill up this hopper, it could be 320 items to fill up this hopper. So it's a little bit inconsistent in that way. And that also means once we actually break the box, we have to spend a lot of time waiting for this hopper to clear out before we can actually start accepting new items again. So I decided to switch the concept from two hoppers to using a single dropper that works off of a four game tick clock. So this was the second design that I came up with, but there are a lot of major flaws with this design. So one of them is that the way we break the box is kind of janky, so we break from the bottom and then we use the, the new box to push the old box into this hopper stream, but that's pretty inconsistent. Uh, the other problems with this design is that it's directional, so it actually won't work in this direction. So this direction is north-south. Uh, north-south, if you look on the facing side on the left side of the F F3 screen. So this design works in east-west. And the other thing is that when you start tiling this design, it can occasionally shoot out loose items because we start running into issues with the update order in how we actually stop the clock, uh, stop the dropper clock. So I tried a lot of different things to mitigate this issue. So I tried manipulating the update order. I tried zero ticking a cauldron in. I tried... Um, breaking the box from the top instead of the bottom, a lot of different solutions, but I couldn't really find one that worked really well for me. So I took a break from figuring out how to make a double speed mixed box loader. And as I was taking my break, I eventually came into contact with Samus, uh, Samus the Sage. And uh, we started talking about storage tech and I eventually shared him my progress on double speed mixed shulker box loaders. And like before I knew it, uh, Samus did what Samus does, and he made an absolutely fantastic a shulker box loader that is non-directional and is extremely small compared to my two previous designs and is very consistent um, when it actually breaks the box. So I can just show you it working. Boop. And as you can see, we don't lose any items. So we got one full box over there. Uh, we got one full box here and another full box over there. Now, the main uh, improvement of using this dropper setup as compared to the double hopper setup is that we don't have a really long lag time before we actually can break the box. So all we have to do is wait for a single extra item 
before we can break the box. And I can just show you that here. So if I put in a single redstone torch, we can break the box and the redstone torch will be put into the next shulker box. So that significantly improves the amount of time that we can actually load items into a shulker box and it decreases the amount of time that this uh, loader is going to be inactive. But uh, in 1.14, uh, there were either some changes with item physics or uh, just extreme behaviors were more common. And I was running into issues with this slab here. It would, when we break the box, the item entity could glitch into this slab and then actually pop up on top of this activator rail here. However, uh, there's a really easy fix for 1.14 and up, and that's just using scaffolding here. So scaffolding, if I show you over here, it has basically a null side collision box. So the side collision box is really, really small. It's just uh, those few pixels on the, on the bottom and the top. So we can basically just shoot item entities through scaffolding really easily as compared to a slab. And the other uh, really nice thing about scaffolding is that it has a solid top surface and that allows us to put redstone components on top of it, which allows us to maintain this sloped activator rail on top of here to update both of the droppers. Now, please note that I'm saying updating both of the droppers because if we look over here, sloped, uh, sloped rails actually update uh, an extra layer of blocks uh, above them compared to normal rails. And what this means is that the second dropper, uh, the top dropper will actually be updated by the rail before the bottom dropper is updated by the rail. And that allows us to ensure that our dropper clock here is going to be consistent for all directions. And I can just show you this over here. So this would be if this is a setup wherein if we used a regular rail, as you can see, we only got one uh, instant dropper chain on the golden carrot. And in the other dropper, we had a golden carrot stuck here. But if we use a sloped rail, and I can just show you that there are items in these droppers. And I'll show you that over here as well. Just so you know that there's no funny, funny business. If we use a sloped rail, uh, both of the instant dropper chains will work. And that allows us to make sure that the double speed mixed box loader is non-directional. So what are some specific cases wherein using a double speed mixed shulker box loader might be useful to you? The obvious one would be using it for quarries. So quarries have a lot of different item types. So you can get stones, you can get ores, you can get dirts, you can get wood. Uh, you can, and if you run it through a mesa, you can get lots of different types of clay. So there's a very high variance item stream and most quarries, you typically build them very large. So the item stream is also very fast. So having a faster mixed shulker box loader might be more beneficial to you than, have, than doubling up on single shulker box loaders. And in 1.16 and up, I can see using a double speed mixed shulker box loader being useful for piglin bartering setups. So for piglin bartering, each piglin uh, can produce 18 different item types. So that's fairly decent variance, as well as producing those items at about 4,200 items per hour. So you would only need one double speed mixed chalkboard box loader for every four piglins you have in your setup to be able to match the speed of the item streams, uh, of the incoming item streams. I highly encourage you to watch the video made by Samos that will be linked in the description. And as always, the world download will be available in my Discord server, whose invite is also available in the description. Anyhow, that concludes my video about double speed mixed chalkboard box loaders. Take care. Have a good day. Bye-bye.